over 20. Any remarks of that kind from time to time will be a welcome assistance. Joe Kennedy. The doctor just saw Jack. It's scarlet fever. He's suffering from an especially virulent form of the disease. He's in quite dangerous condition, to be candid with you. You must take great care to isolate him from your other children. Isolating him's no problem. We'll put him in the hospital this afternoon. Now. I'm afraid Brookline Hospital doesn't admit patients with contagious... The hell with Brookline. I want him at Boston City. It's where Jimmy Dunn's daughter was with diphtheria. They specialize in contagious diseases. They're tops. I'm afraid that's not possible, Mr. Kennedy. Boston City only admits patients who live within the city limits. Oh, that can't be. I've never known them to make an exception to that rule, Mrs. Kennedy. There's a call from Joseph Kennedy, Monsignor. Office. One moment, Mr. Kennedy. City Hall. Yes, Mr. Kennedy, I'll connect you to the mayor. Okay, let's get him on the journey. He's a very sick lad, Mr. Kennedy. Could he die? We're doing everything we can for him, Mr. Kennedy. Could he die? I, uh, haven't thanked you, Dr. Place, for taking Jack in. We're very grateful. I'm glad we could manage it. You have a lot of friends, Mr. Kennedy. We're just leaving now. Um, you won't have any trouble getting away, will you? Don't be silly. I'll see you there, then. Hey, remember, we don't know anything for sure till we hear something for sure, OK? What would I do without you? <laughs> Probably run for Congress. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Next, let's try this piece and this piece. See anything wrong with the picture, uh, there Rosemary? Some, Is there anything there wrong in there? There was smoke and there was... These two up together against the light and see which way they go together. Wonderful, sweetheart. I'm afraid I have to concur with Dr. Maynard's findings. I see by his report you've had some suspicions for quite some time. Since she was quite small, really. We, uh, we just thought she was a little slower th than other kids. The early signs are sometimes difficult to recognize, and 
Understandably, parents are reluctant to recognize them. Is there nothing that can be done, then? I'm sorry. How will it go from now on? What will she... By the time she reaches her middle to late teens, she'll have attained the mental development of approximately an eight-year-old. I don't know how you feel about it, Rose, but one of us has got to break the ice, so I will. Rosemary goes into an institution over my dead body, now or ever. <sighs> I knew you wouldn't want to do that. I knew it. I knew it. What can they do for her in an institution that we can't do better for her at all? With the family. We'll get her whatever she needs, whoever she needs. God gave her a rotten deal, Rose. But we'll get her whatever it takes to let her be the best she can be with what he gave her. Okay? Okay. Yes, okay. We'll have to explain things to the boys as much as they can understand. They'll be able to handle it. But the family is as far as it should go, Rose. It's nobody's business but ours. I hope you see it that way, too. Yes, yes, that would be best for everyone. Oh, Joe. It's so unfair. Who said life's supposed to be fair? to be pawned the genuine French bubbly and direct defiance of the 18th Amendment. You know, they were serving something at the Knights of Columbus in Dublin the other week. Call it a champagne. I couldn't say in polite company what the taste of it was. John? Direct from Brady's bathtub. Ah, oh, and here comes the excuse for today's celebrating. John, come and show your auntie what I give you for your confirmation. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, Joe, that's lovely. Well, it is a little loose. You'll grow into it. <laughs> now then. Here's the Joseph Patrick Francis Kennedy, Jr., the first of my grandchildren to be confirmed as a soldier of Christ. God bless you. God, God bless, bless you, Joe. Ah, oh, that's much better. How's the baby parent, Rosie? Famously, Uncle Henry. I'm just going to have a look in on him now. Rosie, could I come along with you? Of course, Patrick. Jack, tables are not for sitting on. There, Bobby. Would you look at the size of him? You're raising up a healthy-looking bunch, Rosie. God rest her, Joe's mother would have been proud as bunch to see him turning out as they are. That's still sucking her thumb, I'm afraid. Our mother, would dip her thumbs in vinegar, took us in, hope to have it quick. That might account for certain traits in the Kennedy personality, Pat. Could as well as that. Table. 